Hey there, YouTube followers. This is Michael of Painting War Games, and today I got another package in the mail. Yes, the paints that I had ordered finally arrived. So I'm gonna open it up for you guys. I haven't actually seen these paints yet, so hopefully everything is good. Came all folded up like this, and. Yep, got them from Miniature Market. Of course, you know, when it comes to paints, I don't mind them sending them to me because they're such, I don't only order like six or seven at a time. Such a small order. I don't mind paying the uh, $3 for first class mail, even though it takes like a couple days. So, don't need this. Put it over there. Don't need this piece of paper that stuff with. Let's see. All right, push that aside. I'm gonna keep my invoice here so that way I can sort of tell you guys what the colors are as I get them out. All right. Well, we're gonna do the first color, um, which is a color I've had. Uh, I, I yawned in flush by P3. It's a good brown color, a brown color that I like using on my bases. Um, Particularly my resin bases. Let me see if I can't get this one. Up. Um, I've shown you guys this secret weapon base before. I was going to use it for. Um, I'm starting to call them uh, dreadies now, um, but dready 3.0 with the plasma cannon. Sorry, guys. I had a little burpage going there. But yeah, this is still <laughs> sitting here. Um, haven't yet put it together. Um, I'm actually thinking about using this on a, on a project and after we get through the paints I'll tell you about the project. Alright. So. Alright. This uh, model okay so by Vallejo model color light turquoise. Um, how much should I get this thing for? This is only two dollars and forty-five cents through Miniatures Market. A uh, Vallejo model color light turquoise. Um, with the new colors, um, with the exception of Yandin Flush, I am actually going to do. Uh, I'm going to show you what they look like on, uh, like some white uh, cardboard here, uh, in a, in a later video. But yeah, the same bad. This is what I thought it was. Um, seen it on the website, the guy actually does airbrushing with this color. Um, but not on miniatures market website, but a different website. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, what I got here. Alright, this is light blue. Oh, uh, who makes light blue? I know it's Reaper. Reaper Master Series. Light blue. Um, I picked this up for two forty seven. dollars Actually, not bad. Um, a little bit less volume. Uh, this this says half ounce on the bottle. Uh, trying to see what Vallejo says how much is in theirs. Sorry guys. I don't know. It doesn't say how much is in the Vallejo, but you can tell by the size comparison. I mean, they're about the same, but I think the the Definitely the Vallejo has more up on it. So, the Vallejo has more paint to it. So, yeah, you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck with the Vallejo. But, the Reaper Master Series, this is ice blue. Um, so, yeah. I like, again, I'll show you what this is. Um, just, okay, so this is what ice blue looks like in Reaper Master Series. I'm gonna, or, not ice blue, light blue. Sorry, my mistake. Light blue. But I'm going to show you something. Because I have it sitting here real close. This is Ice Blue by Citadel. So that's what that looks like. And everyone knows what this looks like. But this is Light Blue by Reaper. This is going to be a unique color. I got this because of the next color I'm going to show you. Because, and I, I'll actually get out the other one too out of my box. 
put this over here so you guys don't see it just yet. Next color, Reaper Master Series Blush Pink. There we go. Again, I got this for $247 a bottle. Um, I think the only one that's different is the P3 paint, which is $263. Um, so yeah, $247 for a half ounce. That's what it looks like in there. Um, Alright, so the story of reason why I got light blue and blush pink, not to get off topic, it was because of mint green. I've shown you guys this color a few times. It's used on my uh, hell drink. Mint green, blush pink, and light blue are all sitting next to each other on Miniatures Market's website. Um, they, I don't know which way they go, but they, all three of them are sitting right next to each other. And after this, the huge success I had with mint green, I had to try, I was looking for this really bright pink color. You know, we know that Citadel's Emperor's Children and there's a couple other pink colors that uh, I think Reaper makes or and Vallejo make that are just really dark. They're drab. They're, they're not intense. They're not bright like that. And I'm hoping that this just isn't like just like the outline. That this is actually as bright as it is. Because as we know, the mint green, how it looks right there in the bottle, it, you know, it's, it's uh, bleeding on you. The mint green looks like that. This looks like that. Um, these were all three colors that looked really bright on their website, even though you can't tell what colors look like just by a palette, you know, the, you know what the manufacturer sent them. But yeah, so we're gonna. I'm gonna definitely be looking into trying this out, particularly with uh, my buddy Reese's Chaos Marines. Um, I've got some more work to do on one. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into those and doing something very unique with those. All right, so the the two next colors. So I'm just gonna take this bag go over here with my trash. Sorry guys, I keep on looking away. This is my editing screen. This is you, and I sort of go back and forth between you, my computer screen, my editing screen, and my invoice. So, um, so we're gonna I'm gonna show you this one next. Um, Reaper Master Series again. I got a lot of Master Series paints. Um, I got four of them today actually. So Reaper Master Series honed steel and now this is called honed steel silver toned metallic is its correct name but what it has on here is honed steel now this is supposed to be the lighter of the two metallics that I got um, obviously can't really tell by the bottle because metallics are going to be weird so you know 247 not bad half ounce and there is little beads in these things I'm actually going to shake up this one now, this is called Shadow Steel, um, or what it's called on my invoice, Shadow Steel Silver Toned Metallics by Reaper Master Series. Um, and these, the shadows, the Hone Steel and the Shadow Steel sit next to each other on their website. There is another one that I get. It's called Polished Steel. Um, so, and this one's dark, visibly dark in the bottom. So yeah, um, like I said, I will be doing a video here since I have off uh, for New Year's Eve. I will probably be doing a video showing you guys these here shortly. So um, yeah, I, I'm very happy. You know, I only spent like twenty dollars. Like that, it's actually less than twenty dollars. It's nineteen oh eight with shipping, and that's because I live in St. Louis and I think miniatures market taxes everything now you know I don't mind that I paid for this on Wednesday or Thursday last week they shipped it out Thursday you know and the post office being snail mail for first class you know. yeah I don't mind so okay so what I was gonna tell you about what this space now that I've gotten dealt with the paints I have finished working on my tournament list, and it is a list that I am very proud of. It is a list that I have spent a lot. The last 150 points scratched my head. Um, and initially, I don't think I've ever showed this thing off in a video. I was going to take the Storm Talon. This is obviously, this one is of the um, 
the Angels of Revolution one. Um, but the the tournament I'm going to is 1,850 points. It's a qualifier, the third qualifier of four qualifiers to go to Clash of the Titan. Um, and this one is 1,850 points, no allies. You take one book, that's it. Even Space Marines can't ally with Space Marines within their own book. Even though the Codex says they can, they're saying no. One army, one Codex, one list. So, like I was showing you off the Storm Talon, that's the last 150 points was really hard for me to, to you know, picture, you know, to get up. Because I had already taken a, a drop pod, which I only own one, with 10 Stern Guard in it. Um, you know, with some two melted weapons and Storm Bolters. Because I like the Storm Bolters. Give them that upgrade. They're a Assault 2, no matter what. You don't have to get into that rapid fire range. At 24 inch range, they are Assault 2. Which is nice. Um, it, it, I just like that having that two shots no matter what. Um, particularly with Stern Guard who have all those special ammunition. But so I had already done that. Um, and why did I bring up this base? Well, because I had that Storm Talon in there, and I really dug into the Codex, and I love Dreadnoughts. I really, as you guys know, I have three Hellbirds now. I used to have three Dreadnoughts for my Salamander army at one point. But I got rid of them um, on the eve of 6th edition. And now that the Space Marine Codex has come out again, and I really had a lot of time to dive into it, I am thinking, and this is how my list runs, is dropping a drop pod with locator beacon, because both my lo drop pods will have locator beacons, because I'm going to deep strike terminators. And depending on the situation, I want to be versatile to say, my dreadnought, my terminators can go to where the stern guard are, or they can go to where my ironclad dreadnought is as a fire support. Um, how am I going to arm my ironclad dreadnought? As sixth edition, it's all about shooting. You know, it's all about the DACA because um, there's a lot more guys out on the field. Um, even my drop pods are going to, you know, they're going to have storm bolters or whatever. That they come with a bolt gun or something. Um, I'm not going to give them the missile launcher because it doesn't have an AP. It's just strength 5, large bash, 12 inch range. Not my flavor. I want something that has an AP value because if I come across town, and I will, or guardsmen, or hell, even space marines, I want something that I can launch a lot of shots out with. So the Ironclad Dreadnought is my guy. With the Hurricane Bolter, and then I'm going to leave the seismic camera on there as of right now. As much as I don't want to, because I'd rather have the power fist, um, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. He's going to have the hurricane bolter with the seismic hammer with the melt gun built in. So the hurricane bolter is three bolt guns that are shot at the same time that are twin linked. So. You get within that magical 12 inch bubble, and I'm going to drop pot him in, and, you know, he's a versatile unit. He has the melt gun. I come across the armor, drop him in, armor. He has the power, he has the seismic camera, which doubles his strength up to 10, even though it's initiative 1, but who cares? He's going after tanks, or he's going after juicy targets. Lots of shots, and as we all know, Dreadnoughts can shoot all its weapons at once effectively. I drop them in next to a, and this is going to sound stupid, but I would be really tempted to drop him in next to, if I'm coming across Tau, um, what's that? Man, it's the thing that kicks my butt, um, and I'm going to think about it here in a second. Um, here, let me just go look. Where is my Tau, buddy? It's in the Elite section. The Riptide. How did I forget that name? Riptide. The awesome Gundam of the mechs. You know, um, I could drop pod him in next to a Riptide and shoot seven shots off at him um, that turn. One of them being a Meltagun, and because I run Vulcan He Stand, Vulcan says, and it's the same rule, they just reworded it from 5th edition to 6th, um, Mastercraft Meltagun. So it just says if you miss when you shoot. You get to re you get to 
you know, it's basically twin link and melt guns. Melt guns, multi melt is, and there's another thing like that. There's something else, or maybe it is only melt guns and multi melt is that are twin link. But he's master crafting all melt guns and melt and multi melt is so it's cool. Um, or, or I think anything that has the melt of special rule is twin linked in his army. I don't know. I'll have to really look into it, but. Besides that, I know this video is going wrong because I'm doing a paint. You know, I got this uh, paints in the mail. Plus, how I'm gonna do this? Um, yeah, Ironclad Dreadnought with a drop pod. Uh, 135 points for Hurricane Bolter with Seismic Hammer with Melting Gun because I'm removing the Power Fist, which had a Storm Bolter in it. Um, for Hurricane Bolter, not bad. You know, I don't mind losing, because he still has two attacks. It's, you know, he'd, he'd have three attacks in close combat, but I really don't need to put him in close combat unless I really had to. I mean, I can go after Riptides with this, you know, seven shots. Uh, granted, only one of them is AP2 or 1. I can't remember what melted guns are. Pretty sure they're AP1. So we'll go right through his armor, but he's got invulnerable. And then I'm shooting six shots with the Hurricane Bolter at him. And then if he tries to charge me, Good luck. You know, I, I, I openly accept the challenge of my Ironclad Armor 13 Dreadnought. Granted, those things are monstrous creatures, so they can use the smash attacks, go up to strength 10. But still, it's it's something that I'm willing to risk. And, you know, just in case I do come across armor, boom. Um, and then, plus, I'll have my drop pod there. And if I do come across stupid Riptide, you know, turn 1. Both drop pods drop in. Turn 2. Um... I can teleport my Terminators and within six inches of the drop pod. Either that one or the Stern Guard one. So, yeah, that's my idea. I gotta buy another Ironclad Dreadnought and a drop pod. And I really don't like drop pods. I don't like building the models. I don't like, well, building the models are alright, but painting the models, I still haven't been painting the one I bought. I've been playing for five years. So, alright, guys, I'm sorry this went long. I'm sorry this was a ramble. Um, but, yeah. Some cool things are happening. Um, I will get this paint thing up. The only color that will not be on there is Yondin Flush because it's, it's a brown color. It's just brown. So, all right, guys, this is Michael of Painting War Games, and I'm signing out. And as always, keep gaming.